hey guys, what's really going on? Frick yeah, it's Adam here coming to you loud and proud from the mother friggin' <coughs> parking lot at my work. So as you saw on that weed whacker, the choke is kind of maffed. I was chatting with a buddy who uh, gave me a solution that might work. And that was using a pen, like the tube on a pen, and like hooking it up to the choke controller, and then JB welding the fucker on so it holds on for dear life, and then it would give me choke control on that. Let's go home and try it. Well, there goes Brucey. Brucey's gone. He's been trying to think of ideas for making movies, but uh, he's been pretty busy. Pretty busy. So he hasn't uh, been able to figure out any ideas for movies yet. Holy shit, it's 21 degrees out. So today was like a really rough day, not because work was busy or, or anything broke, but um, mainly because I forgot my cell phone at home when I left. I forgot my phone at home. Totally forgot it. So that really sucks. I hate when I forgot my phone. I hate it. For sakes. <laughs> oh man, sometimes I tell you. Also last night I forgot the beer juice. I brought it into work so I wanted the guys to smell how 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 it smells. Like this this beer juice it smells like I don't know what it tastes like yet. I'm gonna roll a review off tonight. Well as soon as I get home, well, after we try and redneck repair that weed whacker, then I'm gonna try a redneck repair on the weed whacker and then probably gonna roll off that beer review and get that up on the northern tech and then go from there. But I have a bad feeling about that beer juice. The feeling is that it's gonna taste like shit. <coughs> but uh, let's hope it doesn't taste like, it's <laughs> like it smells, freak sakes. Who knows, maybe I'll turn around and like it. You know, maybe I'll enjoy it. My buddy had one that was, uh, it was beef jerky flavored, which is weird because normally beef jerky is flavored like, well, I could be wrong on this people, but isn't beef jerky flavored like if you add like teriyaki to it or you do like a Montreal steak spice to it or something? Normally like plain beef jerky just tastes like beef jerky. Well, I guess you smoke it too and that's what it tastes like. It tastes like, it tastes like smoked meat and it's not a bad vape. It's actually pretty decent. Not an all day go vape type juice. It's one of those have a couple a couple toots here and there type but uh, sometimes you get some pretty whacked out juices out there and you just gotta try them. The only one I won't try is tobacco. That's just me though. So this weekend, I'm going to my buddy's house. I already told you guys that. That's on Saturday. Sunday I'm coming home and I put in an order from CanVape to get some supplies because they sell DIY e-juice stuff like flavors and the PG and VG and all that. So I put in the order to get the supplies needed to make THC juice so I don't need to ignite dope ever again, which would be perfect. Mind you, I could just use my Sonic, but um, to be able to vape it will be amazing. And I know a couple people, like Pug1 had some there, but I think like the stuff I'm gonna make, uh, it's made with crushed up cannabis, where the stuff that Pug1 had, I think was made with oil. And like, I've, I've never had oil before, I never tried it or anything. But I, I know it's, uh, I've seen a buddy with a vial of it and it's really, really thick shit. It's like tar. Well, not that thick, but it's really, really thick. Like you turn the bottle upside down and it slowly goops down. Like maybe his, maybe that's not how the oil is supposed to be. Maybe it's supposed to be watery. I don't know. But his was like motor oil. So this stuff here with the, 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 the TG, they call it glycerin, which doesn't make sense because I'm doing a 50-50 of vegetable glycerin propylene glycol to make it thin enough where I can put it in one of my tanks, like my uh, EVOD tank that I don't use anymore. I'm going to rebuild the coil with cotton and make it really loose so that it can really suck up the friggin' juices and not get bunked. But it's going to be a 50-50 PGVG and I'm going to use about probably six to seven grams of dope and we're gonna or I should, six or seven grams of cannabis that's better and we're gonna make some friggin uh, medicinal based uh, glycerin so thinking I might show you guys that's that that whole setup just so you uh, you see what's done and if you decide you want to get into vaping and make that stuff then uh, it powers all to you but but the procedure that my buddy uses, and he told me, he's like, dude, this is the way you do it. It takes four hours, and you 
don't have to babysit it. The other method I had takes eight hours and every hour you have to come downstairs and stir it, which is horseshit. This method, you don't have to. You just go, you just do. So we're probably gonna do that up on Sunday. Um, uh, from Can Vape, I ordered uh, 100 mil of vegetable glycerin. They have pretty, oh, 120 mil of vegetable glycerin, 120 millimeters, uh, milliliters of propylene glycol. And because the last time I had it, there was no flavor in it, so you didn't even realize you got one until you did, and then it was like, holy fuck, you're frazzled and you fell over and died. Then you got back to life because, you know, that just happens. But anyway, um, there was no flavoring in that one there, so you had no idea you were taking one. Where if there's flavoring, you know, you can tell you're taking one, you're getting one because you can taste it. So I'm thinking about flavoring it with either menthol or spearmint. I have some, I have a little bit of menthol flavoring at home, but I really want to do the spearmint because it tastes really good. It tastes like really spearmint gum, which is good gum. So anyway, we'll go home. We'll let Scruffy Fluffy Puppy Wuppy out. I'm going to stand outside with him, make sure he goes for a fucking shit because holy, I'm sick and tired of cleaning up poop in my house. Like the dog's got to smarten up. Fucking six years of his life, well not six, five years of his life, he never starts pooping in the house and now he's starting to poop in the house. Like, what, what, what's really going on? Like what spooked him out in the backyard? I know it, he probably got fucked over by a coon back there. And now he's all scared of the coons. Silly dog. But I'll stand outside with him. And um, also the spotlight idea, I'm really liking it. Iron Man was like, dude, go to Princess Auto and buy the solar one, it's bright as fuck. And you don't have to use your own hydro and you'll have nice light in the backyard as long as the batteries hold out. So I was like, okay. I just wish I could find a solar powered one that ran off of 18650s instead of those shitty little 1.2 volt AA batteries. Because an 18650 lithium ion puts out 3.7 volts, you wouldn't need two, just one battery in there, or maybe run two in, in, uh, in series just to increase the milliamp hour so it lasts the whole night. That would be beautiful, but I haven't seen them anywhere. Probably could build them, I guess, but that takes time and effort. I'm a fucking lazy prick and you all know that, so whatever. Anyway, almost home. Talk to you in a bit. Holy shit, look at this territorial war happening here. Freaking got a whole bunch of moths just attacking the light, trying to dominate its silly goofs. Alrighty, well I let scampers out, or scampers, freaks I let Oreo out, that's better. And uh, haven't checked the living room yet. This auto feeder from Walmart is the biggest piece of shit ever. It doesn't auto feed. Like you gotta go in and do this just to get the food to come in. Like I'm sure the cat loves me digging my poo digger into his fucking food, into her food, but gotta do it. Doesn't freaking auto feed. Piece of shit. But uh, so far, no poopy. No poopy. I said no poopy. What was the matter with you? You want some pets? You want some loving? <laughs> Give me all your loving, cause you're a scuffy puppy dog. Skeetle doo, skeetle deedle do. Oh. I should head out to that garage and figure out this fucking mess. See if we can get this thing working right and then uh, go from there. Because if I can get that choke controller to work good, then life will be glorious and money will cheech. It smells fucking horrible out here. Anyway, um, let's take a look at this. This thing. Let's grab this thing, set it back up here on the bench. And uh, see, I grabbed a pen from work. Probably calling me cheap because I grabbed it from work. But uh, basically, it's this. I've had this pen for two years. It's finally out of ink. So I'm going to use this tube and put it around that. That little fucking thing. Let's see if it'll work. Okay, so the first problem is this pen's inner diameter is too wide for that pipe. We're going to need to put some poop in there, some poop, and then just stabulate it on so that it holds, and then I'm going to heat it up and bend it. Hopefully it'll bend, but then I'll have myself a choke controller. Maybe. Well, I got one bulb out. You're probably saying, what the fuck are you doing, Adam? You got sidetracked. Did you cheat? No. Um, basically, there's not enough light over here to see in the toolbox. Got one bulb out, but this son of a bitch is being a stubborn little prick. I'm going to take this out. I got more bulbs. Don't knock it over. Got more bulbs in here that I'm going to uh, put in. Put in up here and then uh, see if that'll give me more light. Yeah. Oh, frig yeah. Now I just got to get something to get up here so I can change out these bulbs. Because uh, I guess I could take my ladder, if I could reach it, 
lean it up there and get up there. And if I had a stepping stool that could support my weight, which I don't, obviously, look, you can tell. Hey, lawn tractor, want to be a stepping stone for me? <laughs> ah, I don't need to worry about that one right now. Anyway, it's bright as fuck over here. Look at how bright it is over here now. This is beautiful. I want this close. There we go. Now I can see my toolbox. Now I need to find my poop. Well, after spending about three minutes in my toolbox, I forgot. I'm out of JB Weld. Yeah, I forgot about it. I kind of accidentally left it open this one time and the tube solidified because I fucked up. So, ah, oh, it's so, well, well, watch, it's dark. Watch, 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 watch. Bam! Backlight turns on faster than front light. This light, nothing. That's what I think about that light. Seeing how tomorrow is garbage day, I decided to bring the two garage uh, garbage cans outside. All this fucking barbecue styrofoams, eh? Yeah. Gotta love that. Well, you don't gotta love it, but you probably should. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and close up the garage, and we're gonna head inside. I left that pen in there. We're good to go. So I'll close up the garage, and uh, we'll go inside. Any mails? Any mails? No mails. No mails. Well, I figured before I do anything, I'm gonna shut her down there because I have nothing going on. I'm probably gonna go to bed soon, but I figured I would show you guys this. This is the Sonic Vaporizer, okay? Let's take let's take a really good look at this. So I have it turned on right now. It's 73 degrees Fahrenheit. The battery's a half dead. That's the uh, oven button there, and that's the light right there. So when you press that button, you'll see it turns red. I'm gonna turn it off because I got nothing in it. But you see how quickly it just heated up? It just hit it just went up like friggin 11 degrees one click of the button like this thing heats up stupid quick that on the side is your heater setting and that's the main power switch so if you press the plus you'll notice right now I got a heat in a 385 and you can turn it up and the minus turns it back down and obviously the off switch turns it off now what's really cool about this device that I like Turn it back on, for sakes. Yes, it's used, and yes, there is like medicinals trapped underneath the glass inside on the friggin' thing. Pisses me off, but there's nothing I can do about it. Unless I take it apart and clean it. I don't want to do that. Frig it. It's just cosmetics. I don't have OCD. I don't care. But um, I'm going to turn off the light for this next part because uh, you got to see this. Basically, when you open it up while it's turned on, there's a light bulb in there. So you can see when you're putting your dopes into it. So I'm going to go ahead and load this up, and then we're going to kick it over, and I'm going to show you how well it works. Alrighty, herbs are loaded in. Close her up. So as you see, it's 81 degrees Fahrenheit in there. We press the button, and it starts heating up, and it doesn't frig around either. Look at it go. Look at it go. Oh, fuck. Battery might die on it, but look at it go. <laughs> That's one thing that I like about Pugs VaporMax V versus this one. Number one, the price. This thing here is about 200 bucks. The Vapor Max V is 100 bucks with the code YouTube at Nitfic Nations. You can find it for that price too on eBay and stuff. But uh, so the price point is a bonus to go with the Vapor Max V. The Vapor Max V only goes to 390 degrees. There is no setting. And unlike this one here, this one has a 1,000 milliamp LiPo battery in it. The Vapor Max V has a 2,600 milliamp LiPo battery in it. So you'll get a lot longer run time out of it. But like, this thing takes no time to charge up. It's just giving her. Like, once it gets to about... Wow, that was quite the jump. Um, once it gets to about 360, it tends to slow down, getting a Fahrenheit a second. But look, the element's already starting to cool off a bit. Like, it's not running full balls. The battery's trying to make a recovery back to two bars. But um, there, it's starting to slow down on the heating now. Not a big deal. But holy, this is like my favorite now. This is all I use. I don't really use the pipe. I don't even use uh, this green thing anymore because, oh, it's ready. Light's green. So theoretically, we can hit it. So let's hit it. Now the deal with these is you want to go slow because if you go too fast, it sucks the herb up into the screen and then you're dicked. So you want to go slow. And the taste is so much different. There's no throat irritation like you get with pipes and bongs. This is the way to go, for sure.
like Bug One said it, this is the way to go. Like, I don't get the big clouds that Pug One does off his Vapor Max, but maybe he's hitting it differently. I don't know. So, but anyway, people, there you go. And then we cheached. But uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this episode of uh, my vlogs and my life and all the bullshit I get myself into and things. And hopefully, you stay tuned for more. Because I like making them. But I'm not going to make them if nobody watches them. But anyway, people, thanks for watching. And until next time, keep on vlogging.